This is not a broom with fraying edges. This is now a broom that reminds me of Blonde Doctor's bangs. Tough and spunky. Sarah's transformation came about basically because the network is looking for a promotable girl on the show. A problem that all medical shows run into, which is TV is sold on attractive young female and male faces. And uh, in medical shows, uh, women that play nurses and doctors are forced to wear scrubs. Laverne, do you call me Marshmallow because I'm soft and easily flattened? And it's also because you're very white. You look at Sarah Chalk in the first couple years, and you know, she was so game to let us spray her with flop sweat and make her pale you know, for every shot she was in. So basically, the goal was to put Sarah out there as kind of a hot young actress. We hated ourselves so much for it because I, I think it was just some goofy scene where she tears apart her room and then comes out looking like a glam punk rocker. But it did lead to something incredibly cool. I'm new Elliot. We decided to have her find her confidence and strength and make her a, you know, a new Elliot. Lose the makeup, get a haircut, and stop using my razor to shave your fun zone. Sarah, at that time, had talked a lot about, you know, cutting her hair and, you know, maybe changing her look a little bit. Who suggested this? I got a phone call from Bill Lawrence over the summer. He said, we were thinking of giving Elliot this full change. You know, would you be willing to chop off your hair? Oh, sure, sure. Sounds great. Yeah, totally. So Bill writes it in. He's like, OK, we're cutting your hair. This is fate. Then we all have envelopes full of magazines, you know, different haircuts that she might want to go with. <laughs> and then we got here, and they're like, OK, we're going to chop off your hair. <laughs> thinking, wait a minute, this is my security blanket. I've had this for a very long time. I had no idea what the whole sort of hair journey would be. I thought one Beverly Hills hairdresser is the same as the next and that somebody else could imitate it. I was wrong. It was very, very specific. It was like, it needs to be chunky, you know, chunky chic or bedhead light. How do you have the time to look so good every morning? Oh, this, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take long. The good thing about having your female characters have bed head and look ratty and stuff is that they can show up and basically go right on the set. And then once we changed it around, you know, it was suddenly, you know, we created the situation that Sarah had to do the equivalent of getting ready for the Emmys. Same job, different outfit. <laughs> True that. We get to wear fancy tailored boot leg cut pockets, low rise, fabulous colored scrubs, which our costume designer has designed herself. Oh my god, that is exactly the look that I was going for. She went from being this very matchy, Pollyanna, very conservative uh, pastels to sort of a rock star look. And somehow the script made it make sense. The outfit that she uh, is presented in in her new look is very opened up and our main concern was that her bra always showed. Get used to wearing that, so it's quite like a novelty to get to actually wear like fun, fashionable, trendy clothes. I think there was some new undergear for Sarah that year. <sighs> Position one, two, or three. Every outfit incorporated some type of colored bra that was mismatched to the outfit so that we were sure to get a little peek of it. Bra shopping became of utmost importance. And for what it's worth, I think you look beautiful. I wouldn't change a thing. Oh, I did uh, tone down the eye makeup a little bit. Oh, thank God, you look so slutty. The clothes were a little bit more consistent. The makeup, we did a very strong impression in that first episode and then backed off a little bit. You know, she can't be walking around a hospital doing exams with all that mascara on. Look, I have spent the last three years in this hospital getting pushed around because I'm little Barbie from Connecticut. But there is a new toy in town, and her name is Bitch Slap Barbie. Mm. I think that for Elliot, the reason she did that entire change is because she was ready. She was ready to go to that next level, and she was feeling like she wanted to be taken more seriously. And so I think it wasn't just the look is what she was projecting from inside. And she absolutely started to take more risk in her personal life and then in her professional life. Dr. Moore, you're going to give Mrs. Farr the abdominal CAT scan, and I'll tell you why. You remember that colon patient of mine that you screwed up on? Well, I'm gonna tell him exactly whose fault that was, and then I'm gonna spend every waking second helping him figure out how to physically and financially bitch slap you, even if the end result is that we both get our asses fired. Your move, Chuckles. Bring her down.
partly because, you know, we didn't want to pander as much as we did at the beginning to the network and give her this new glam look, partly because it seemed like a little too much, and partly because of how much time we were burning getting her ready on a daily basis. We gradually started doing stories about her stripping layers of it away. <laughs> now there you go, sweetheart. Now you look more like a doctor and less like a lap dance. It was very funny because the story arc came out of the fact, basically, that uh, Randall and I didn't want to be standing up on set anymore while the makeup people were saying, it's only going to take us about 15 more minutes to do her eyes. Oh my God, I look like Alice Cooper. At the end of the day, there's this haircut and bangs in her eyes and all this dark eyeliner, but she's still the same human being inside, and so the same insecurities still kind of peek out. Have the other doctors been making fun of the way I look? What? No, no. I've never heard no anything way. Why like would you that. Say Why? That? Hell yeah.